Mind your decisions, I'm Presh Talwalkar. A circle contains triangle ABC. From each side of the triangle, construct the perpendicular bisector of the side and connect it to the boundary of the circle. These line segments have lengths of 1, 2, and 3. The problem is to calculate the area of triangle ABC. When I was shown this problem, these were the answer choices presented to me. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. While the problem seems to be simple, it's actually an extraordinarily difficult geometry problem. So let's work through it step by step. First, extend the perpendicular bisector of each side. They will meet at a single point known as the circumcenter of the triangle, and this will be the center of the circle. We will then consider each side in turn. First, consider the side A, which is opposite angle A. Suppose the circle has a radius equal to r. Since this entire length goes through the center of the circle, we will have a diameter of the circle. Therefore, this line segment will be equal to 2r minus 2. Because the chord BC is bisected, each half will be equal to a over 2. We then use the intersecting chords theorem. We have a over 2 multiplied by a over 2 is equal to 2r minus 2 multiplied by 2. We can use this equation to solve for a. We want the positive value because a should be a positive length. From here, we will do a similar calculation to solve for the length of the side which has a length equal to b. Here this length will be equal to 2r minus 3, and each of these will be equal to b over 2. We thus have b over 2 multiplied by b over 2 is equal to 2r minus 3 multiplied by 3. Just as before, we solve for the value of b, and we take the positive square root. We finally do the same sort of calculation to find the length c of the remaining side. Using the intersecting chords theorem, we get the following equation, and then we can solve for the length c. We again take the positive length. From here, what do we do? Well, let's take a look at just this triangle and consider angle A. We can use El Kashi's law of cosines to solve for the cosine of angle A. We have A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC multiplied by cosine of angle A. We thus solve for the cosine of angle A, and we've already solved for A, B, and C, so we can substitute those values in. We're going to need to do a little bit of algebra, but once we do that, we can solve that cosine of a is equal to the following. From there, what are we going to do? Well, recall that sine squared of a is equal to 1 minus cosine squared of a. We can thus solve for the sine of a. After we do quite a bit of algebra and some simplification, we get that sine of a is the following. We thus have the following expressions all in terms of the radius r. The area of this triangle will be equal to 1 half multiplied by side b multiplied by side c multiplied by the sine of angle a. We substitute these values in, and we get an expression for the area in just the term r. So all that remains will be to solve for the radius of the circle. How can we do that? We are going to use Althusi's law of sines. This states that 2 times the radius of the circle will be equal to a over the sine of a. We can substitute these values in, and we get that 2r is equal to the following. From here, we simplify, and we get a cubic equation. How can we solve this cubic equation? I myself wouldn't be able to solve this, so I looked it up to find some neat tricks. We're first going to make a depressed cubic. If we have a cubic in the following form, we can make the following substitution. So let's make the substitution r is equal to x plus 2. If we substitute this in, it simplifies to x cubed minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. This is called a depressed cubic because we've eliminated the squared term. From here, we're going to make another substitution. 
Suppose x is equal to 2 times the cosine of t. If we substitute that in, we get the following equation. We then use the clever substitution that the cosine of the triple angle, 3 times t, is equal to the following. So we can substitute that in. We get 2 times the cosine of 3t minus 1 is equal to 0. We thus get that cosine of 3t is equal to 1 half, and we have a family of values for t. We want to take exactly three of them because we have a cubic equation. So t can either be equal to pi over 9, 7 pi over 9, or 13 pi over 9. Let's evaluate each value of t. Since r is equal to x plus 2 and x is equal to 2 cosine of t, r is equal to 2 plus 2 cosine of t. We thus have the three possibilities for the value of r, and we get the following approximate values. Now recall, the area involves the square root of 2r minus 3. Since we want the area to be a positive value, we must have 2r minus 3 is a positive value. This means r is greater than 3 over 2, which is equal to 1.5. We can therefore eliminate the approximate value of 0.47. This case will not be a solution to the original problem. We thus go to the following two values. Now the second possibility that's approximately 1.65 will lead to the following values for the sides, which will be the following construction. And if you work out the perpendicular bisector lengths, you end up with the following case, which was different from the original problem. So this again is not a solution to the problem. We are thus left with a single value for r, and that's the value we want. We substitute that into our area expression, and we get the following. It's an exact value for the area in terms of the cosine of pi over nine. I think this is a really incredible formula, and it's approximately equal to 17.19. Now, if we go back to the original problem, we were given the following answer choices. It made the problem seem like it would be a simple problem and there must be an easy way to solve it. But in fact, all of these answers are wrong. So I think this problem presents an important life lesson. You can't make the right choice if you have the wrong options. But if you mind your decisions, you can solve anything. Thanks for making Mind Your Decisions one of the best channels on YouTube. See you next episode as we solve the world's problems one video at a time.